is IVF considered to be the extreme uh, solution? IVF is, is the most high tech. Yeah. And I think if you looked at a treatment success, as in, you know, what's the probability of getting a patient pregnant on that given month, mm -hmm. by far IVF is the most successful. However, you know, I think IVF is, is a pretty complicated process. Um, it's also a, a costly process. So, I mean, the ultimate goal of our fertility clinic is to find the simplest solution for that patient. Mm -hmm. um, and for many, many patients, it depends on their problem. For example, let's say that the lady has polycystic ovaries and she's not ovulating, she's getting three periods a year. Mm -hmm. Well, for her, it's actually generally very simple. If that's her only problem, you know, something as simple as simple tablets just taken with a period will make her ovulate. She needs to be monitored properly. She may need to be sure it's the right dose for her. Um, but once you get her ovulating, chances are nature will get that right mm. um, once we correct the ovulatory step. Again, the intrauterine insemination is another example of a, a very low-tech treatment, um, again with modest success rate. So for example, intrauterine insemination generally offers a success rate of about 15%. Mm. That's about the natural conception rates, okay? So, you know, with intrauterine insemination, it's modest, but again, in the right patient for the right reason, if that's what we identify, it's always worth trying because mm. it's very, very simple very cost effective if it works in that couple. We normally would think of intrauterine insemination as up to three goals. Because you know, within three cycles, if we've designed a you know, well-constructed IUI program mm. um, and everything is going for me to be the way it should and she's got a nice egg, we have time in the placement of the sperm in the uterus with the egg, the sperm prepares very nicely in the laboratory setting, you know, ultimately they should become pregnant within three. And if they don't, then at that point we go back to the drawing board and we say, okay, now there's, we need to consider that this is more complicated than we thought. We now need to move to IVF. Mm. And, you know, so IVF is, if you like, yes, it is a cornerstone of what we do. Um, in terms of physically our workload, yes, it constitutes a lot because it's, it involves a huge amount of, you know, obviously technical support from the medical mm. um, perspective. And as I said, it's a team of individuals. It's, um, I, I'm the doc, but there's a number of IVF coordinators. You know, there's literally two scientists that are in the lab, you know, that their job is to put the sperm and the eggs together and to create embryos. Mm. Um, and, you know, and I think, I think the goal is, is ultimately to find the best treatment for that patient and, you know, to really identify what that couple's problem is and to, to find the solution for them.